Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M21 and today I'll show you how to set up the device. So when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with the language select screen right here. So let's choose our language. And from here let's just tap on the blue arrow. Uh, connect to mobile network. Now this is completely optional. You can do it or just skip this. Uh, I don't have a SIM card, so I'll skip it. Uh, then check out some of uh, some info to get started. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, end user license agreement. Uh, let's sign away our soul right here, and then tap on next. Now you could agree to all of them, but you don't have to. Then you have the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, again, you can choose to connect to one or skip it gonna skip it for now. The only benefit of it is it will set the time automatically and also allow you to log into Google. But if you skip it, I can later on connect to your Wi-Fi and do that as well, just after the setup. Uh, copy the apps and data. Uh, now this process would allow you to move your uh, old device content to the new one if you want to. So you just go to next and follow the on-screen guide. Uh, but I'm gonna be setting it up as new. And if you're doing that too, you can tap on to copy. And again, there's the uh, date and uh, time settings. Now, like I said, this will be set automatically um, if you're connected to Wi-Fi. And actually, it is set correctly anyway. So the time right now is correct. I guess I don't have to set anything. We have Google services, so we have the localization and send user and diagnostic data. So. Um, localization uh, helps things like uh, Google Maps to figure out where you are so it gives you a uh, good route to where you for instance want to get um, and also just tracks where you are so later on spams you with crap like uh, how was your experience in XYZ restaurant uh, so kind of annoying um, then you have the send user and uh, diagnostic data uh, so basically tracks what you're doing and sends the data to Google. Um, now you can disable both of those. Um, when it comes down to localization, some apps will require it. So just keep that in mind. It will usually prompt you to enable it if you want to use a specific app that requires it. From here, tap on accept and then you have the protect your phone. So you can set some kind of protection on your device. Now I'm going to choose a pattern. But if you want to add something else like a pin or password, you can. And also you have the face recognition and fingerprint. Now, if you choose either one of those or both of those, you still need to have either a pin, pattern or password. So um, the, the ones, um, the two first ones, uh, which you can set both of them will always require uh, the one of those three on the bottom. I'm gonna go just with the pattern. So let's draw that, continue. Redraw that once more, confirm, get recommended apps, um, for some reason calculator is a recommended app, I guess the device doesn't come with one. Uh, I'm gonna disable all of this, and let's up on next, uh, then you have the Samsung account now you can log into this one if you want you can skip this it will give you access to where is it uh these apps right here so you have samsung cloud galaxy theme uh find my mobile and galaxy store now if you don't care for uh, either one of those you can just simply skip that and never bother with it but if you for instance want to change the theme of your device and download one from their uh, theme uh, store or whatever you want to call it you will need an account for this even though they're free uh, some of them are free, uh, you'll need to log in. Now I'm gonna skip this, I don't really care. And then we're all done, so let's stop on finish. And there we go, and that's basically the setup. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.